In this review I'm taking a close look at the iPhone 8 Plus. There are already tons of reviews out there, but I really want to focus on the most interesting part in this iPhone, which is the dual camera for videos and photos. I'm not going to bore you with all the specs, I'm sure you know all that. First let's have a look how good the iPhone 8 Plus performs on a gimbal like the Smooth Q using the Filmic Pro app and a flat profile. I color graded everything in DaVinci Resolve and used some post stabilization too. With the iPhone 8 Plus you can shoot 4K 60p and as you can see the image quality is still very good if you use the Filmic Pro app which also gives you a very high bitrate of 100 Mbps. So again you get 4K 60p in a smartphone. That's one great feature a lot of cameras like DSLRs and mirrorless cameras don't have. So Apple did a great job here in pushing the smartphone technology. Handling all this data in a smartphone takes a lot of processing, so it's even more impressive how good the iPhone 8 Plus can handle all that and still give you very good battery power with a very nice big display. When I shot my videos I never ran into a battery issue, I still had enough juice left to use the phone. Now is the iPhone 8 Plus really that good for photos? Yes it is, if you don't use Apple's camera app, I can highly recommend the Camera Plus app for iOS. With this app you can control everything manually, like the ISO setting shutter speed and save it in RAW for the best quality. I wasn't too impressed with the ISO performance, so make sure not to go over ISO 200 on this phone. But if you stay on the low ISO settings, you can get some very detailed results even in low light. And even some very nice looking bokeh is possible. Now finally let's look at the video performance again. Shooting 4K with 24p and how good the handheld stabilization is working. In this scene you can see how detailed the video quality can be on the iPhone 8 Plus. I think for a smartphone this is an incredible result and by far the best I had yet in a smartphone. The stabilization shooting handheld is also very good as you can see. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments.
The iPhone 8 Plus is by far the best smartphone I had since years and I had a lot. The camera is incredible for a smartphone. Of course, the small sensor in it has its ISO limitations, but having very detailed 4K video and 60p and 120p in full HD for slow motion is just fantastic. The build quality of this phone is also very premium and the 8 Plus feels excellent in the hand, so in this case it's also worth its quite high price tag. Um, but wait, what about the iPhone X? Uh, I mean 10? Well, I tried it and to be honest I didn't really like it. The display is smaller than on the 8 Plus and the stupid notch is just really disturbing. So in my opinion the iPhone 8 Plus is a much better deal than the iPhone 10, which also costs even more than the iPhone 8 Plus. I hope this video is useful for you. If so then smash that subscribe button, a lot of good stuff is coming up soon. Thanks for watching this video, see you in the next one.